Crisco, which is a simple tutorial or E and foot program. All right, so for the for the first exercise in our program, we're going to need either, either a tennis ball or ideally a uh, white lacrosse ball. So with this, the first thing that I want to do is just take the ball, stand on the ball, and roll it over my foot. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm looking for a spot of restriction. All right, I'm just kind of trying to roll around, just find a spot that doesn't necessarily hurt, but is feels like it's ball, it's all balled up. I feel like I have a lump there. You know, once you find that spot, just kind of press in, wiggle your toes over that thing, get into that spot, and spend anywhere from one to three minutes on that area until you make change and iron it out. Okay, so we're gonna hit both feet. Again, um, you can roll all around from kind of the back of the foot here, all the way to the toes, to the outside, and you'll find your spots, all right? So really focus on that. Um, once you get there, we're going to move immediately to the calf, all right? So I'm going to just put this over one part of my calf here. I'm just rolling up and down. I can turn outside to kind of hit the outer portion. I can turn inside to hit the inner portion. All right, when I find the spot of restriction, all I'm going to do is place one foot on top here to kind of weight it up a little bit, increase the tension on it. And again, just wiggle my foot up and down. That's just moving, the, that's kind of just oscillating over that trigger point. Um, and it's just working that out. So I'm trying to just iron out some knots that have formed in, you know, some dough or whatever here. So I'm just working that out. Again, one to three minutes in that position. And then we're going to finish up with, um, in this case, our hamstring. All right, so with that, and you can need a chair or just something, I can sit in here. I'm going to put this, I'm going to find a spot here under my hamstring. And I'm going to just kind of roll it around until I find the area that is balled up. Oh, there we go. All right, now what I want to do, press in, just put some, uh, put some pressure on that thing and tack over it, meaning I'm just flexing my knee up and down. Once again, I'm just moving that muscle through the range of motion, just kind of jack, just really pushing down on that trigger point, just working that out. Okay, again, spend one to three minutes on each side, all right, and then move to our stretching exercises. All right, now for our first exercise here, all right, all that I'm going to do is what is called a, uh, a ankle drive. Right? With, with the ankle drive, what I want to do, I'm just going to set up against the wall here, and I'm going to just try to push my knee out over my small toes. Right? I'm feeling just kind of a, a uh, sensation here in the front of my heel. I'm just trying to get some ankle mobility. Right? So I'm just driving forward, holding for one or two seconds, and coming back. Driving forward, holding for one or two seconds, and come back. I want to come as far forward as I can without my foot starting to come off the ground here. So once you start to come up, come up on your toes, that's your range of motion right there. All right, the goal, I just try to hit the wall. You know, if I can do that with keeping my foot down, I can move back a little bit. But again, I want to spend about, you know, one to three minutes just oscillating over this area. All right, again, I can, uh, I can I'm trying to push out over my small toes here versus pulling the knee in. So think about pushing out, pausing for one to two seconds, feeling that good stretch here in the front of the ankle and then hit the other side. All right, for my second um, exercise here, we're gonna move immediately into what we call leg lowering. All right, with leg lowering, I'm just going to place one leg on the top of the wall here, and I'm just raising and lowering, just like this, all right? So again, just working out, stretching out that hamstring. I want you to just move slow with it, pause at the bottom, hold, and come back up, all right, with this, I'm just looking for anywhere from 15 to 20 reps, holding, pausing, coming back up, all right? You can spend, you know, 15 to 20 reps, up to three minutes on that area. It's a really, really good mobilization for the hamstring. Just, uh, you know, hold for that amount of time. All right, so that, those are our warm-up exercises, all right? After our workout, we have our corrective exercises, all right? Which would be, in this case, okay, we have a wall leg lift. So I'm gonna get my leg up against the wall, Really press my heel into the wall, raise up, pause at the top and come back down. All right, anywhere from 15 to 30 reps for each side. All right, then we're gonna move into a single leg glute bridge, all right? With this, pressing my hands into the ground, abs are tight, pushing my butt up into the air. I'm trying to really keep my back pressed into the ground there so my abs are on while I'm doing this. I'm trying to get this in my butt cheek, all right? If I start to feel this anywhere else, I wanna come down and reset. All right, at the same time, you know, you can come down just a little bit kind of get more butt versus the hamstring. And really, the other thing to think about is uh, coming up onto the heel here. All right, you're holding for two, three seconds, and I'm coming back down. Um, and we have our last exercise, which is a single leg calf raise. 
Okay, so with this, again, I'm just going to hold on to the wall here, pressing through my toes, pausing at the top, coming back down. All right, once again with this, anywhere from 15 to 30 reps. Um, in that sequence, those three exercises would be done as corrective exercise, either after the workout or um, on your off days after we do our flexibility work. All right, so uh, that, is, that is your knee and foot directional program.